raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks, raise your drinks up, raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. And we're the Black, Black Bourbon, Bourbon Family. Welcome back everyone. We've been off for a week, took a little vacation, celebrating my birthday, you know? Yeah. Did y'all miss us? Cause I mean, you know, Jason's always putting us out there like, <laughs> we've been gone for a week. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, did they even know? Yes, they knew. They missed <laughs> us. But if you follow us on Instagram, we had po we posted some pictures from uh, my birthday weekend. Had some great bottles. He did. That I enjoyed. Not the bottle, but some samples. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy surprised me with a couple of things, and we had a great time. But today we are back, and we are going to talk about alternative single barrel bourbons to this one right here, Blanton's. Everyone runs to the store. You know, I talked to the guy who get most of our bourbon from, and I said, what's the most popular bourbon that people want to see if you have? Blanton's. <laughs> and he said it like that, Blanton's. <laughs> and you know, there's so many other good single barrel bourbons out there that you should try if you haven't already. And we want to provide those Blanton alternatives. And quick thing, while we're giving our list of uh, bourbons that are alternatives to Blanton's, tell us what are your alternatives to uh, Blanton's single barrels? You know, I'll take anything. Instead of blanks. But <laughs> mm -hmm. I will say, mm -hmm. we had a store pick of Blanton's. Of Blanton's. And I was like, oh, this is not that bad. So, you know, as they say, it's all about the batch and, yep. you know, and the barrel and all that good stuff. So it's not, I just didn't necessarily like this one. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and, and I think that's the truth, right? With single barrels, this barrel, hmm. Not a big fan of. This is two years old and we still got some and yeah, but anyway. So, but these barrel, these uh, single barrels that we're gonna mention, they have been consistently good. And I think, you know, that's important as well. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> so, one other thing. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram. We're starting to get more active on Instagram, posting pictures and just always letting you know when, uh, we're posting the next video. So follow us on Instagram for the latest and greatest from the Black Bourbon family. All right. All right, Brandy. I'm going to put Mr. Blanton's down. All right, Blanton's. And what do you have? Oh, you're going to make me start first. Oh, yeah. Come on, <laughs> ladies first. Ladies first. I have McKenna 10 year. And, you know, this was at one point like one of my favorites. I mean, it's still good, but oh my gosh, he went crazy and bought me like all these bottles. And I was like, uh, you know, there's other things. <laughs> <laughs> she used to love this. Still like, we still like it a lot, but still Brandy, like oh it. my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but McKenna, 10 years, 100 proof. And it's a Heaven Hill product, mm -hmm. and it runs around um, fifty, around fifty dollars between forty-five, fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, it has that that sweetness that I like. Not overly sweet. This was not overly sweet. As I continue to drink more uh, different bourbons, I'm finding that this one's not as sweet as the other ones. As the other ones, mm -hmm. but it still has you know a hint of sweetness of some uh, caramel and vanilla and. So, yeah, I like McKenna. Cool. No, it's a good one. Yeah. So this one is a good one to, um, if you can't, get Blanton. Right. And fairly available. I mean, I think it's one of those ones where it's there throughout the year. It may not be always on the show, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah. All right. So the first one that I have is Four Roses Single Barrel. So obviously from the Four Roses Distillery, uh, price point 
So the one that I have here is actually a store pick, which is a little bit higher in proof and a little bit more expensive. So price point on these are around $70. Uh, but the regular single barrel, which is just as good, and we just didn't have a bottle on us right now. I think somebody may have finished it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the price point on that one is $50, or sorry, $40. It comes in at 100 proof, has tasting notes, a uh, little fruitiness to it, a little creamy, um, and a little floral notes to it as well. But this is a great bottle a good single barrel and pretty much you can find the regular single barrels all the time i think you know they should be readily available the store picks are a little less uh available i think they come out whenever the store does the pick of it but again four roses single barrel definitely a good pickup and an alternative to blends <laughs> <laughs> Well, my second one is the Russell Reserve Single Barrel. Mm -hmm. It's 110 proof, and it ranges around $55, and it's, of, of course, from Wild Turkey. <laughs> 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 so we got sweet notes of toffee, caramel, vanilla, and, yeah, this one is a great one. Mm -hmm. I really, well... We really, mm. I will she say said I, it first. She said it right. I will say I, I really enjoy this particular bottle. Yeah. Very, very good. If you can find it, this one's not as. That one, you know, it, so this is a store pick. Again, the single barrels, I think they're, they are more readily available than store picks, but not as available even because more people are finding out about them and they right. like them, you know. And I mean, with this being a store pick, I would love to get another store pick. I would be afraid to get <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the regular um, bottle, but I don't know. I like this one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> and Brandy doesn't know, but I got a store pick for. Her. Oh. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next one that I have, people are learning more and more about this and uh, these have been coming less and less available on the, on the shelves. They're out there, but you gotta know when they're delivering these. And they come in every month, so it's not a highly allocated, like once a year type of thing. But again, it's one of those ones people are becoming more familiar with. It's John J. Bowman. So John J. Bowman is out of the A. Smith Bowman Distillery. Uh, price is coming in around $50. Uh, the proof on this is 100 proof. Just a good bourbon. It's very creamy, has slight notes of chocolate in it, some caramel notes, a little spice. It's 100 proof, so a little spice to it, but not a lot. But a great single barrel bourbon that I would highly recommend. And this one we had this in our like um what is it the eight bourbons our go-to bourbons uh video because this one right here is good and this was a backup but now it's the current because the backup is gone <laughs> um <clears throat> so yeah so john j bowman pick it up single barrel <laughs> that was news to me uh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> he always has a backup. Not always, but mm. for you know certain <laughs> purposes, we are able to get our hands on. Right. He usually has a backup. Got to. Yeah. Knob <laughs> Creek Single Barrel, <laughs> 120 proof. Of course, made by Knob's Creek. Mm -hmm. Caramel, nutty flavors, you know, vanilla, very rich, sweet, yumminess. That's good. Fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Price point is about fifty dollars, so it's a it's a great alternative to blends. Yeah, very good, very good. All right, and pretty readily available too. Yes. You know, yep. and I think that's key. You know. Absolutely. So the last one I'm going to talk about, it's not as readily available, but I had to throw it in there just because it's a great single barrel and I feel like it's it's more 
available, well, about the same as blends. But anyway, here it goes. <laughs> E.H. Taylor, single barrel. Um, this one right here is actually a store pick as well. But the single barrel, they come out, I would say, probably five to six times a year, once every other month or so, depending on where you live, or maybe a little less often. But anyway, it comes in from the Buffalo Trace Distillery. Uh, MSRP is around $60, 100 proof. And I mean, this is good stuff. Notes of that, it has that Buffalo Trace, uh, they say the grapey note that Buffalo Trace is known for, has some of the caramel notes, um, a little bit of spice, not a lot, but just overall a good single barrel. And I would say, if you see Blanton's and Taylor single barrel, <laughs> Taylor single barrel. Trust me on that one. I know everyone goes crazy for the horse on the top, but this right here is very, very good. All right, so we just, you know, we wanted to provide some good alternative single barrel bourbons to Blanton's. Everyone falls in love with Blanton's even before they try it because of the bottle that it has and everything. But we wanted to just provide you all with some ones that's you know readily available and one thing I didn't mention is a lot of these have some good age to it like the Four Roses is about eight to nine years the Bowman is around the same thing the Knob Creek I think is a nine year that store pick was a nine year the McKenna is a ten year that Russell's was a nine year uh, this this uh, Elijah Craig also or sorry this Colonel <laughs> Taylor is also around eight to nine years so good age as well so you're getting some good bourbon good alternatives and we think that you would really enjoy these just as well as a blanton's thanks for joining us again don't forget to let us know what other single barrels that you would have as an alternative to blanton so that you know in case we don't have it we'll try to pick that one up give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we will talk to you next time cheers